Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm pink now. So this is going to be fun. New hair, new makeup. So I'm going to start by having a nice clean lid and just going in with any type of liner you got. I picked just this nice gray one, haven't really used it yet. And I'm just thinly outlining where I want my cut crease to go. I'm putting this just right above my crease because I want that to be shown. So make sure you have your eyes open when you do it and this line will vary from eye to eye. Then I'm going in with Urban Decay's black liner and I'm making that thicker at the outer corner. And then what I'm going to do is blend that with just a skinny brush, kind of have like an ombre effect. So I'm just flicking it up. This part will take the longest. Take your time with it because you want to have a nice gradual effect. Um, so you might have to keep adding or taking away. So this is the most tedious part. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Milk Liner. So this product is awesome and I'm just applying that all over my lid to give me a really nice clean palette. I'm going to be using loose pigment, so I'm using Inglot's Primer. It's just like this clear fluid. Any type of primer will work as long as it's kind of sticky. I'm using Inglot's Eyeshadow 35. This is a beautiful purple lilac color with like gold flecks. I really love it. And so I kind of make that like a little paste and then I'm just applying that straight on the white. You might have to use your finger to pat it in, but this will ensure that it will stay on all day. Then I'm going to go in with Inglot's number 27. It's like a really pretty yellow gold color and I'm applying that right in the middle of my eye because that's where I want the most color of that yellow but not too much and then I'm also taking that very thinly and just highlighting my brow bone. Now go back in and do the finishing touches with that black liner. I'm just going to kind of fix it up. Going in with Stila's liner. Any liner will do but I want something really wet and dramatic and of course I need to use my finger because my eyes are sensitive and they don't trust me, so just applying a nice winged out liner. I know it looks a little weird that one finger is painted. I just really wanted to try out the new chalk paint um, at like the drugstore, so I just painted my fingernails. So that's why it's like that. <laughs> so I'm just going to be taking some of that line and just pulling it into the bottom, right under my waterline, adding that Urban Decay. But I'm only applying it on the outside and making it lighter on the way in. And then I'm taking the Inglot powder and putting that there. My mascara is Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. So just applying that. Didn't want to put fake lashes on. And then whatever color you want for the bottom on your water. Okay, hair time. So I'm just combing it out and then I'm going to make a nice part right down the center and make equal parts to start. Then I'm just going to apply a little bit of hairspray so there's no flyaways, I'm going to be doing a braid. So I'm just taking the Moroccan oil hairspray, spritzing it everywhere. And then I'm just going to be making a really tight, really clean braid on both sides. Then just get some clear rubber bands and apply that to the ends. Clear looks the best, obviously, so it can't be seen. And now I have two braids, and you're just basically going to cross them over. Take your time with this. So I'm trying to get it like where I want it. Um, if your hair is a bit shorter than mine, uh, it's going to be really hard to get this because mine barely makes it. So the hardest part of this is just bobby pinning it to hold in place. So you're going to do it separate and find whatever works best for you and really try to conceal those bobby pins. I applied it like inside the braid. The second braid is the hardest just because you're trying to hide that tail end. And because my hair is not long enough, it kind of shows. So just getting it in the right place and really bobby pinning it together. I like how it looks with my hair because my ends are lighter so it kind of looks like I have like a braid on top of my hair opposed to it actually being my hair, if that makes sense. So yeah, just kind of like twisting everything so it fits in place. And that's pretty much it. Then you're kind of done. You can curl the ends if you want. I wanted to leave them. But that is the finished look with my cut crease eyes and braid and pink hair. So different. Really liking it. Trying to get used to it. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys can recreate this. It's really fun and simple. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Like this video and subscribe.